Shucking an oyster can sound daunting, but I'm here to show you how easy it really is. I'm here at Blue Plate Oysterette to get some tips from the real experts. So, raw versus cooked oysters, what's your preference? My personal opinion, raw. It's the only way to actually experience and, and take advantage of the ocean flavor. Is it okay to eat oysters at home? Absolutely. So I would challenge a purveyor to look at this oyster tag. It'll tell you the day it was harvested, the day it was shipped, and that'll give you kind of an idea how long those oysters have been there and gives you a good idea of whether or not you want to purchase them and take them home to consume. What are you looking for when picking a fresh oyster? You don't want to have anything open. You don't want to see a gap in it because chances are it's going to be dead. Give it a good tap. If it sounds hard, solid, chances are it's going to be quality oyster. So we know how to spot a good oyster. How about a bad one? As soon as you grab it, you'll notice if there's an opening anywhere around it, if it's not properly sealed, if it seems weak and flimsy, then you know don't shuck it, chunk it, get rid of it, don't take the chance. Okay, let's get right to it. All right, let's go. First thing you want to do is you want to have something to towel. You want to have something to secure it with. Now there's several different ways to shuck an oyster. You have your oyster knife. I wouldn't use any knife out of my tool set at home. First of all, I don't want to break any of my knives. And these are specifically designed for this reason. They're not too sharp. So when it comes to the oyster, obviously you don't want to hurt yourself. If you want to do it like this, that's fine. I have a lot more balance if I hold it in my hand myself. But there's several different methods for uh, opening an oyster and it just really depends on what you're more comfortable with. Now this knife you want to keep pointed away. You don't want it going down like this. You don't ever want to force it because you're just going to damage the shell and you, you, that's the chances are you're going to put it right through your hand. It's not about force. It's about finding that little sweet spot, giving it a twist, popping it just like that. After that you have one more muscle right here on the bottom. You want to squeeze through. Make sure it's loose, moves around, make sure there's no shell fragments in there, a lot of liquid, it looks like a good oyster. Okay, so should I give it a go? What I would do is I would secure this right here a little bit, all right, get your knife straight with the oyster and then just pop it up, oh, there we go. Now you want to go ahead and take your knife and just clean off the bottom right underneath it, make sure it comes right off the here. shell. Absolutely. Poke it right there. Just go all the way through it. Now, do you have any tips for sort of not getting the shell involved? A lot of that little shell right there tends to crumble. Don't force the oyster. It's not about power. It's about precision. It's about finding that little sweet spot and just popping the top off. All right, let's dig in. A little bit of lemon is about the best accompaniment. And do you ever just eat oysters without anything? Absolutely. I would recommend if you're not an experienced oyster eater, you got to try it off firsthand, just in its natural state. Whatever works, as long as you're trying it, I'm happy. Cheers. Cheers. Wonderful. Amazing. It has that briny sort of minerality actually to it that I love. Absolutely. Um, and the lemon just kind of enhances it. It doesn't over it doesn't overweigh it by any means whatsoever. So what's your method for storing oysters? So what you want to do is you always want to keep them on layers of ice in your refrigerator where it's 42 de degrees or below. Um, you want to keep the cup side down and if you want to put ice on top that's fine. If you want to put wet towels on top that's fine as well. Now if you keep them upside down when they open up they're going to spill all their liqueur which is going to be where you're getting all your flavor and the whole reason you're probably eating oysters to begin with. Also if there is one bad oyster in the bunch and they're all filtering chances are all of them are going to be contaminated not just one of them. Share your oyster tips with us and see you next time for another taste of Yum Sugar TV.